Hey everyone, it's Robin, RS Island Crafts, and welcome to my studio. I have a little requested video that I'm going to show you today. I bought a Brother sewing machine. It's a CS6000i computer. I picked it up on Amazon probably sometime around this time last year, maybe a little bit later. When I purchased this and I started using it in my live streams, I mentioned how much of a pain in the butt it is to use the automatic threader on this, especially compared to my Juki sewing machine. And a few of you guys have the same sewing machine and you mentioned the same thing that it really is, it can be annoying. But I said I would go ahead and put up a little video and show to the best of my ability how this can be threaded. It usually takes me a while to do it and sometimes more than one try. So I just tend to just thread it with, you know, the, the little eyeball sideways, one eye closed and just hand thread it myself. So let me go ahead and cut off the thread that I was practicing on. I am using an orange thread just to hopefully make it easier to see. One of the steps with the process of this is you need to start off by bringing the thread through the machine like you normally would. You have your needle in the up position, you have your presser foot up. So when you put it through the last little loop here, you need to drop your presser foot. Now, every other machine that I've used that really just goes against what I've been taught is you just leave the presser foot up and you do it. But for this automatic threader, you need to drop the presser foot. This is a little lever for the automatic threader and it has this little silver hook here. I know everything's kind of bright and shiny right now, so it could be a little hard to see. Oh, and if anyone's curious, this has a B on it for Brother because the Brother and the Juki are actually interchangeable. So not that it matters, but I like to keep the Brother with the Brother and the Juki with the Juki. So when I bring this lever down, it has this little hook that comes down and it pushes your thread's going to get pushed through and grabbed in there and brought through in the needle. I know, really scientific and really fancy words, Robin. But what you want to do is you got your presser foot down. That's the biggest thing. Hold your thread up. And as you're lowering your presser foot, and as you're lowering your little foot here, your automatic little lever, this hook's going to come down. You want to hook your thread on it. And you have to hold your thread up just a little bit as it's going down. But once it gets closer to the needle and the eye, you want to bring it so that it is level and parallel with it. Because otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it into the eye. So right where the eye is, I just hold it a little bit towards the back of the machine. And I go slow. And if it doesn't grab it, there we go. I just put it back there. You might be able to see here is the thread. So I can just pull it out. Now I'm only pulling that extra piece of tail out because you can't pull on the thread because you have your tension disc engaged. So bring your presser foot back up and then you can pull on your thread as much as you need. So let me go ahead and do that one more time without all the talking. So now I've done it three times in a row without any problems. Just a little bit of wiggle just to make sure you get the thread in the right spot. The thing I always forget is to put the presser foot down. So if you forget to put the presser foot down, it's very, very difficult to go ahead and get it to thread. So if you're struggling a little, try putting your presser foot down and go slow. With my Juki, it's got a lever on the side of the machine. I just go really quick, boop, and it threads it no problem. This guy, you have to go slow. You have to be gentle with it. It's a very finicky threader. The rest of the machine is great. I love this sewing machine, but that automatic threader is just a little bit tough and it doesn't have an automatic cutter. But besides that, it works really great. I love it for all kinds of projects. So I hope that helped out anyone who may have been struggling with that. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Your code word for this video is orange and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.